ring my bell. Subscribe to me. Got for me. Got for me. Got. 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 Everyone know I've been killed before. I've been bent like a cinnabar. I crap with my money, no. Drop that top, get a burrito. Oh, I did something different. I did something real different and I'm happy about it. I'm real proud of myself, like I'm growing. I did, I did something different and I actually wrote down my ideas. Talk about growth, bitch. So today's conversation is just gonna be about why I think checking in with yourself is pretty important. Me, I didn't used to be the kind of person to actually check in with myself. Like I used to be the trigger happy bitch that if I was upset, I will just let you know how I feel and think about it later. Didn't take me, it took me actually like reevaluating my shit and reevaluating what it, what it was that was important to me and what it is that I need to do to actually make myself better. I know my baby hair is fucked up on one side. Don't y'all sound off in the comments. Like I'm doing the best I can. Like it's so hard to work with synthetic hair. Fuck. <coughs> Self check-in. Self check-in, and I didn't know about self check-in until I actually, um, I ducked off on Twitter for a little bit, and then I started following this lady. Her name is Mariam, Mariam Hazna. She actually spoke on a lot of stuff. Um, she's a really spiritual person, I feel like. To me, a lot of the people that I follow, especially um, her and somebody else who no longer is on active on Twitter or on Instagram anymore, but her name was Irisa Yardina, she was really, really wise and she really opened my, my eyes up to a lot of stuff that I had a lot of turmoil in myself. A spirituality really helped me and helped me realize a lot of stuff about myself and about stuff that I need to fix. Um, I will talk about my spiritual journey and uh, why I think it works for me and my pros about it. So not this video though. So the importance of checking in, I made a few bullet points here and then I'm going to talk about it and throughout the video because I was getting tired of having eggs on the brain when it came to talking about stuff. So the first point, the first point in self check-in is well, the importance of checking in with yourself or self check-in, you know, speak to yourself however you want to do it. I personally, I will talk out loud to myself, like I'm my only bitch. I will sit and talk in the corner to myself. I will walk around the house and fume to myself because all I got is myself. So why not not hear myself think and try to rationalize shit and get things under control? Um, a lot of methods that I use, I write. Sometimes when it gets to be too much and I feel like my head is about to explode, I write. Self-talk. The importance of set, um, checking in is actually the importance of self-talk. So self-talk to me is actually hearing yourself, how your mind's working, how your feelings are functioning, like listening to yourself. You know, you can listen to anybody else and you can listen to them, you know, talk about their problems and their woes and their worries and their stress. And, you know, you could tell just by the pitch of their voice, by the fidgeting of their body language, you know, different stuff they are going through some kind of anxious situation, right? Well, when I say talking with yourself, you know, I say self-talk like, okay, Shay, what's going on? Like, you know, what, what's going on? What's the feeling coming up? Like, what can we do? You know, the importance of checking in is, you know, seeing how you're talking to yourself because you could be cussing yourself out in the back of your head and not even realize it. A lot of times I didn't even realize that was very self-destructive and that was very not nice to me and then I would just lash out to everybody else about basically what was going on with me and it took a lot of accountability to myself to realize my problems don't have nothing to do with anybody but myself if it's in the realms of fixing I can fix it on my own if I need help I will seek help but a lot of times a lot of projected anger is really situations with yourself self check-in really helps you like come into play about how you're feeling and how you actually are functioning and basically finding out what you what you need like self-talk is really a very positive thing for me because a lot of times with self-talk like even when i'm at work or i'm at school you know i just ask myself a simple question what is it that i need how am i feeling what's going on what's bothering you what's make you happy like what's 
Um, what's a good thing that happened today? What's something that could have went better? Like, what do you need at this moment to make it better? Little conversations like that with yourself can really diffuse a situation. A lot of the times my self-talk is, um, you know, what's going on? How do you feel? How's your day going so far? You know, things you would ask somebody else. I just ask to myself. So I check in throughout the day and a lot of times been a lot better with it. And I've been a lot better with like actually communicating my feelings and my emotions and my thoughts in a more productive way instead of just being like, bitch, what the fuck? Like growth situation diffuse or diffuse situation. That's another point in why checking in with yourself is very important. When you want to diffuse a situation, um, initially when you piss the fuck off, you're not thinking about nothing but going the fuck off. Um, a lot of times when you are upset or sad or angry or, you know, overly just ecstatic, you know, you just, you get real trigger happy with your emotions. You get real trigger happy with your actions. You're very impulsive. And, you know, sometimes when you act on your emotions, good or bad, sometimes it don't, it don't happen the way that you want it to happen. And then you sitting there like, why the hell did I just do that? I could have did that something better. So checking in with yourself when it comes to emotional regulation I think checking in with yourself really helps you de-escalate it. Like, not de-escalate it like, you know, completely numb yourself to it, but de-escalate it to see, okay, for example, you got up late for work. You left the house late. Now you're dealing with traffic. The non-drivers start kicking in when it's rush hour traffic. You almost late for work. You can't find parking. Now you're rushing into work. You left your badge in the car. You have to go back to your car. Now the security is giving you problems. You know, all of this, it, it, you, you know how I see how I went from this to all the way to this? So go step by step and diffuse it like, okay, what am I feeling right now? Frustrated. What is it something I can do? Talk to myself. What is something else I can do? Take a deep breath. What is something else I can do? Listen to calming music. What is something else I can do? Talk to myself in the car. Yell and scream and do everything you got to do. Get it out your system before you meet anybody else. Because if you meet somebody else with that energy, they're going to match it. And y'all both going to be pissed off and y'all don't even understand why. Another step for defusal is, you know, going down to the root. Because I think a lot of times root things have root solutions. The root of all of this, just get up early. Get up earlier. You know, and prepare yourself the day the night before. You know, then you wouldn't have to deal with traffic and fully ass security and losing stuff and rushing out the house and, you know, almost getting in accidents. Like, to the root of everything from the traffic to the parking to everything else, just wake up earlier. There, situation diffused. So I think that's really important. Me, um, in the past, I used to have real bad anger problems and a lot of that stuff stemmed from home. My anger problems stemmed from my upbringing and the people that were around me and what how I thought that was the proper way to regulate your emotions was through anger and it took me a long humbling road to not resort to anger. I still cry, but I'm a Scorpio, so you know, it comes with the territory. Mental exhaustion. Mental exhaustion um, in the relation to checking in with yourself. I really think mental exhaustion is really important in checking in with yourself because throughout the day, from the time that we wake up to the time that we go to sleep, unconsciously our mind is running and running and running and running and running. You're dealing with stress from here to there, to school, to work, to kids, to friends, to relationships, to pets, to pets, to bills, to bills, to the house, to the house, to the car, to the house, to the phone. You know, it's, it's different things going on and on and on and on. And to a point, you don't realize how exhausted you are until you lay down in that bed. Checking in with yourself could be as simple as not immediately getting out of the car before you come, before you come into the house. Checking in and, you know, checking in to make sure you're not mentally exhausted Sit in the parking lot, get to work a little early and put on some motivational music. You know, ask yourself how you feel. Ask yourself, what is it that you need? Ask yourself, what can you do to actually make things go smoother today? Granted, a lot of stuff is not going to be in your control, but at least you can control your max. If you know deep down you are at your limit, 
just respectively say, hey, I completely understand what's, you know, I can, I completely understand. I know it's blase squase, but right now I'm just going through a lot right now and I can't give myself, I can't give my full attention to this. I will definitely check back in when I feel a little better so I can be fully attentive for you. You taking care of yourself, taking care of them at the same time, you know? And um, a lot of times uh, uh, people forget that it is important to relax your mind. Me, what I like to do is when I get exhausted, I write or I look at hair or hair tutorials or I do little puzzles or even like I play with my dog, like little stuff to bring my spirits back up rejuvenates my mind. And it keeps me pushing for another day, another minute, another hour. You know, little things to actually boost your mind up and not make you feel like you're exhausted and you're just running on autopilot all day just to humble yourself. Even go outside. Like, my apartment has a balcony and my dog loves to sit outside. Sometimes when it gets to be too much, I leave my phone in the house and I sit outside with him and I just people watch. It's really, really nice. And it's really important, you know? The last one is motivation. I think so checking in with yourself is really good when it comes to motivation because not anybody, nobody's gonna be as big as a cheerleader as you. Nobody's gonna motivate you as much as you can. Nobody else is gonna provide discipline as much as you can. So why not let yourself be your own motivation or why don't you give yourself that pep talk and actually like do something, you know? I honestly think that we are our biggest support system and our biggest destruction. And when checking in with yourself, you can actually hear that voice be like, oh, you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna do good, you're gonna fail, you know, you should've stayed home, you should've just called out, you should've just dropped out, you shouldn't have came to class, you ain't studied enough for that test, you're gonna fail the test. Instead of being like, you know, you gave it your best, we're gonna do the best on your test, you know, yeah, you were a few minutes late to work, but you'd rather be late than call out, you know, different things to change your mindset and just to push you through the day because when you develop a defeated mindset your day goes by a lot longer your day go by a whole lot longer and you feel like it's never gonna end like you wake up to be excited to go back to sleep that's not living and me personally I like to relate a lot of this stuff back to me because I don't want y'all to feel like I'm just wiki howing this shit and just regurgitating it back to you I was very depressed. I was um, I was very depressed, very suicidal, you know. I didn't have a lot of hope, and I don't talk about it a lot, but I did want to hurt myself. I didn't care. I felt very alone, and it took a lot. It took a lot for me to get better, and I still have my moments, even now I'm getting, like, emotional about it. But I still have my moments, and doing these little things, I kid you not, really does save some people. Because, you know, it, it's so easy to fall back into old habits. It really is. And I'm too damn light-skinned to be getting emotional like this. But, yeah, this is my video for today. I hope I help some of y'all. And if y'all have any stories or if y'all could relate or different ways that y'all check in, you know, definitely drop it down in the comments. We're just here just to talk and we're here to diffuse and we're here to just chill and get stuff off your chest and tell me what's on your mind. You know, I really like where this is going and I want to keep this up. So this is me today and I hope y'all have a great night. Remember, I upload on Sundays and Mondays. Not a set amount of videos. I just know that I upload on those days. It could be one, could be five. You know, you never know. But expect to see me Sunday and Monday. What is that shit? The bell or whatever? Ring-a-ling. Ring my bell. Subscribe to me. <laughs> Bye. Fuck all the money I make, I would give it away just to be with you. Hmm.